morning and good evening. Till yesterday we have seen the, about three chakras. Today we are going to see, we are going to know more about four chakras. So yesterday uh, we have seen about root chakra that was related to our survival instinct. Next chakra was sacral chakra or swadhisthana chakra. It is purely related to emotions, our feelings and the flexibility in life. Next chakra was solar plexus. It is also called Manipura. And here lies our personal power and our self-esteem. So we are going to see now, we are going to know more about heart chakra, throat chakra, third eye chakra and crown chakra. So let's go ahead with the heart chakra now. So four chakra is heart chakra. It is also called Anahata chakra. Its location is in the center of the chest. Its mantra is Yam and uh, its color is green. It relates to all the beautiful feelings, love, warmth, compassion, and joy. Heart Chakra is all about unconditional love, giving love without any expectations, compassion towards everyone, every being, joy of life, kindness towards everyone, acceptance, accept every person, every situation as it is, forgiveness, forgive everyone, Forgive self also, because we have seen that we are all human beings. None of us are perfect. All of us can keep making mistakes. As we can make mistakes, others can also make mistakes. So forgiveness is the best quality. And this chakra is the bridge between the lower three chakras and upper three chakras. So we have seen that these three lower, uh, uh, lower three chakras, they relate to the physical world more with our survival instinct, with our feelings and with our personal power. <clears throat> but these above three chakras are mostly spiritually related. They're called spiritual chakras. So when this chakra is not in balance, what happens? Sometimes we miss the self-love. We don't love ourselves. We don't like our own self. We feel something is lacking. We are not up to the mark. And even if somebody loves us, somebody is expressing love uh, to us, so we feel we don't deserve it. And also when this chakra is not in balance, we become people pleasing. That is, we don't do what we know we need to do or we should do. But in order to gain praise from others, we do anything, go out of the way. Also, sometimes we feel loneliness. We feel we are alone. There is nobody with us. And another thing, again, when chakra is not in balance, if somebody hurts, uh, it might be a small thing. But that impression we keep carrying in our heart, that doesn't go away. That accumulates in the heart. And as uh, we are not expressing our love or sometimes we feel we are unworthy of love, the love exchange is not happening appropriately. So there might be relationship problems. And now we see the glands and body parts associated with this chakra as this is the place here, our uh, thymus gland is the heart, circulatory system, pulmonary system. Pulmonary system has lungs also. Our immune system, upper back, shoulders, hands. These are all the parts and glands associated with it. So what are the issues that can come up related to heart chakra? 
all the issues related to the heart chest lungs shoulders hands even a uh, illness related to the blood leukemia asthma pneumonia and the blood pressure mostly the high blood pressure is very common so these are all the issues related to the anahata chakra or heart chakra now we'll see how this uh, when this chakra is formed in the fetus after 3 weeks of the conception the fetus starts experiencing consciousness that is if there is any pain it feels it at this time the soul enters the body it enters but it keeps entering it keeps leaving it enters and leaves it goes on for a while till it finally decides that okay this is the final place where i am going to enter and i am going to occupy uh, this body so as this goes on uh, during fifth or sixth week then heart beat is heard and that is the time when anahata chakra is formed so mother can make the heart chakra stronger for baby by sending love energy because this is the this heart energy uh, heart is related to the love now how do we balance our anahata chakra deep meditation walk amidst the nature spend time with family friends wherever you feel you have the loving relationship spend time with them do spiritual service spread the universal love love everyone that expands our heart makes the chakra stronger and complete the work in right time when it comes to the work now what does it mean by complete the work in right time we have heard that make hay while sun shines only when the sun is shining the hay can be made it cannot be made when there is no sunshine or when it is rainy days or it is night also we have heard a strike the iron when it is hot so if if we have to mold the iron we have to heat it up first and as long as it is hot then only you can strike it to give it the shape so this is called work in the right time at right ways so uh, as we have been seeing the case study for every chakra so here we pick up high blood pressure which is very common and this is associated with the anahata chakra now in order to understand how we are going to work on this uh, at spiritual tablets we need to understand this if you look at this picture there is heart the blood is coming in to the heart blood is here and then it comes out so this part is entry the game so here i also you have to understand this uh these three components electricity water blood these three components in our life we cannot control them neither the blood flow we can control nor water flow sometimes water pipes get blocked it's not under our control electricity flow sometimes the voltage is high sometimes low sometimes it is cut off so these three are related to the other three components where which we can control the money or wealth for our positional power that means as i explained yesterday that as we age we work uh, in certain field or as a um as a responsible person so we gain some power in the society positional power that power or if you are doing meditation then spiritual energy is also there with us so these three powers these three energies we can control we can have control over them how we gain it how we maintain it and how we spend it so if we have control over these these other three electricity water and blood they automatically get controlled now when it comes to high blood pressure it is afterwards from the heart it is getting pumped up to 
uh, different parts of the body and that is the place where the pressure is building so this is the expenditure part this is again this is a maintenance and when it comes out it is expenditure how you spread it around so we have to introspect how we are spending our wealth how we are using our positional power how we are using our spiritual energy so this is how we work and also we have to uh, make our heart chakra stronger by expanding our universal love cultivate the compassion kindness forgiveness and learn giving nature at times we have to sacrifice so uh, these are all the things we these are all the aspects we need to work on when it comes to high blood pressure so friends uh, we'll move on to the next chakra now that is throat chakra throat chakra is also called vishuddha chakra so the throat word shows that the location is in the throat here and its mantra is hum that's the one and the uh, color is blue this chakra relates to communication throat our words come out from our vocal cord that is in the throat and our self expression is mostly with our words our speech so our self expression is also related to the throat chakra so and this throat chakra is all about truth we speaking truth our ability to trust our right to speak right to speak means what suppose there is a situation which we do not like it but we keep it in our mind rather than expressing about it so if that is uh, going to disturb your mind or it's not the right thing which has happened you must talk about it speak about it that you are not like certain thing that is right to speak and honesty calmness and also uh, we love both we love the freedom for our choice that whatever uh, choice of different things in life at the same time uh, we enjoy the togetherness with everyone also and other qualities uh, equality and equanimity equality is treat everyone alike everyone is same and equanimity is any situation comes up in life we are calm stable we are composed under any circumstance that is equanimity and we should always be willing to express ourselves suppose there is something come up some idea we have in our mind but we feel the other person is going to accept it or not should i say it or not is he going to feel something about me no we have some idea which we can communicate to someone do express it and exhibit loyalty so now when the chakra is not in balance what happens it creates the communication problems we are not able to communicate what we want to communicate to the other person or the society around and toxic home environment is when we are not able to express ourselves correctly that means we are not making somebody understand why we do certain things or what is our status but if we keep it in the mind and uh, carry on so that doesn't uh, create a good environment around in the house it creates unpleasantness because when we keep something in the mind the misunderstandings come up and that is how the unpleasantness is created and sometimes we feel neglected we feel nobody cares for us and sometimes we do not feel confident enough about ourselves so these are the aspects with the, when the chakra is not in balance and uh, we'll see now the glands and body parts associated 
uh, this is the place where a thyroid gland is situated so thyroid gland parathyroid gland throat neck mouth the parts in the mouth including the teeth gums and the ears so these are all the parts associated with throat chakra so what are the problems that are related to throat chakra the chronic throat problems mouth ulcers laryngitis thyroid problems ear infections headaches pain in the neck pain in the shoulders these are all the issues so when it comes to uh, fetus when is the chakra formed by 20th week the vishuddha chakra comes into existence and thyroid hormone starts getting produced when we do pranayama it has great effect on throat chakra or vishuddha chakra so uh, to make the chakra strong for the baby mother should do pranayama and also as this is uh, related to the speech mother should keep speaking to the fetus and uh, keep playing music to it so now when it comes to balancing our throat chakra or vishuddha chakra do the deep meditation be creative and expressive understand self at body mind intellect and soul level look at the requirements of our body see whether our body is in a proper shape means uh, what are its requirements is it fine uh, introspect uh, our mind also uh, how we are reacting to the situations around what we are absorbing what we are leaving intellect do we have the enough knowledge to analyze things what is our knowledge level where we need to uh, add more at the soul level are we satisfying our soul at the end of the day because whatever day whole day we are doing for our body and mind are we doing the meditation so that our soul is happy okay now uh, and the uh, maintaining silence is very important for the throat chakra because it is related to the speech only when we maintain silence we introspect ourselves we can understand that how much we would have been speaking more extra what is ne- not necessary so many times it happens that we go on talking what is not necessary uh, where it is not needed so we learn to have control with maintaining the silence and maintain silence is uh, many times not only our speech our at thought level also we need to maintain the silence because the speech comes from the thought first and uh, since it is related to speech how the quality speech that is let it be righteous intellectual and scientific with full of truth let there be truth in every word we speak learn music that is uh, very important for the throat chakra because uh, it is creative and that enhances the energy it makes the chakra stronger for the vishuddha chakra jesus christ has said what goes into the mouth does not define a person it is what comes out of the mouth that defines a person whatever we put in the mouth that is for our own self it is going to reflect on our own self nowhere else but what comes out of the mouth mostly it is our words and they are not meant for ourselves but they are to convey something to someone they are for others so it is very important that we introspect them we carefully use them use the right words and use the right thing and uh, before you speak think of its impact on the opposite person to whom you are going to convey things or to the people around in what situation what we are seeing that also we have to see 
so say the right words at the right time to the right people and in the right situation so friends that is how we need to balance the throat chakra and now we are taking the case study one uh, health issue related to this chakra is thyroid so we know thyroid is a gland situated in the throat and it produces the hormones which regulate different functions in the body thyroid is important uh, gland and it has to be working in its uh, optimum good condition so that because it has the impact on different uh, functionalities on the body so when it is not working uh, it's optimum or it is underactive or overactive then we call it as an illness the thyroid illness so thyroid is associated with throat chakra so how we work on it at uh, spiritual tablets is um, we insist on positive thinking only when we think positive our words our speech is going to be positive uh, express ourselves in the right way as we discussed till now at right time right place and keep learning the new subjects keep learning music be creative observe silence as i said observe silence is very important because that's going to keep track of our thoughts when we are observing silence so we know uh, how much uh, we were speaking more extra how much it is needed to what extent we need to speak how we need to speak only when we are in silence we can realize that and uh, also uh, if needed work on the ashad vargas so these are all the aspects we need to take into consideration when we deal with the thyroid so friends uh, let's go ahead with the next chakra so uh, next chakra is third eye chakra is agya chakra so agya chakra as we can see in the picture it lies in the center on the forehead between the uh, eyebrows and uh, its uh, mantra is om third eye chakra or agya chakra is related to the intuition imagination this is a this is one of the places where our spiritual energy enters our body so when we do meditation we progress in the meditation our third eye opens and the energy starts getting into the body when this third eye chakra is not in balance it creates sometimes in us the illusion nightmares we find difficulty in concentration and sometimes we live in the fantasy world not the reality and the glands and body parts associated are pituitary gland pineal gland brain nervous system our eyes ears nose and sinuses the health issues related to agya chakra uh, that are headaches uh, ear problems eye problems brain tumor is also associated with this uh, brain strokes neurological uh, disturbances learning disabilities that sometimes uh, child is not able to learn with the pace like uh, other normal children it is a slow learner then uh, spinal disorders these are all related to this chakra now we look into the chakra formation this chakra formation the fetus agya chakra is active around a uh, seven weeks after the conception and at this uh, uh, agya chakra is related so much to knowledge we need to read good spiritual books to the baby to make its agya chakra strong and also keep speaking to it the good words good knowledgeable words on a mental level and how do we make our chakra strong intense meditation nature walk again spiritual service introspect the events as we uh, progress in our meditation then our intuition our uh, 
uh, understanding the analysis power, it automatically goes on increasing. So we, we are able to analyze things around, the events around, which how we understand uh, any specific thing happens, that this has happened to give me a message. So analyze that, take that message. And also live in the reality. Agya Chakra is all about reality. Uh, here, when the Agya Chakra is active, when the person is uh, at this level, he can see the things as they are. There is no a mask on any anything. The things are very clear as they are. Any Anything that is existing around, happening around, uh, at the Agya Chakra level, a person gets the clarity of the picture. So, uh, in order to make our chakra stronger, we also need to live in reality. Uh, very simple and small example I would like to give you here is, suppose uh, our friends, we have some friends, sometimes we argue with the friends, they get upset with us. Suppose a friend is upset with us uh, and uh, we are not talked for a while and suddenly then we feel we should start communicating again, talk, start talking. So we give a ring and that friend has declined our call. Uh, then again, we just give ring within two minutes and again, it is declined. Then we start feeling, oh, she's still upset. Maybe she doesn't want to talk. Okay. So, so many, the thought process uh, goes on in our mind immediately. We form the picture from our side. We don't know the reality at the other end. So, and then what happens at that moment, our all energy goes to this thought process imagining things, what can be the reason? And we start feeling upset, our energies get imbalanced. So, and wait wait for uh, your friend to call back or later on again try. She might be busy driving, she might be busy uh, doing some urgent work. The other day someone called and uh, as uh, I was uh, busy doing something, I also declined the call sometimes. There is, uh, genuine reason many times. When, sometimes when a person is driving also will not pick up the call, simply it is declined. So it happens. So, so that is how later on uh, we can find out why the uh, friend, she, she will call and tell or we can uh, call later and find out what the truth was. It is not always what we think. So that is live in reality. And such situations can be many in our lives. Uh, so, uh, we need to uh, develop oneness, feel oneness towards everyone, every being, and be truthful always. The reality and truthfulness, they go very close. Know the purpose of life. If, if possible, try to understand the purpose of life and align all our plans of life or future plans with the universal plan or our purpose of life. That's going to make this chakra stronger. And uh, now when it comes to case study, we are taking one health issue. We are taking here eye problem. So uh, how we deal uh, with the eye problems at spiritual tablets? It is associated with Agya Chakra. Here, the concept is how the direct experience, eyes see directly, then there is a difference between listening about something and imagining and seeing with your own eyes. That is called direct experience. Somebody has eaten gulab jamun and you just hear the description, how tasty, it, how nice it was, how they enjoyed eating it. Unless we eat it, we are not going to experience how much of the other person describes that ultimate experience doesn't come unless we eat it. At the same time, since we are in a spiritual journey, we keep reading many books, we try to understand many theories. But what is the reality? Reality is experience. That is also more important, very important. That is the base for all these theories, all, this, all the knowledge in the books. So as we increase the uh, meditation, we start getting the experiences and that is going to make us understand the knowledge that is 
that the books are giving because our uh, earlier masters they have experienced those things and then then only they have written so unless we experience we are not going to understand the reality of it but what happens is many times we just read something and we are in a hurry to understand things we go on having many doubts about these queries again scientifically we are going to we are uh, trying to judge everything so i'm sorry uh, maybe i'm getting deviated from the talk uh, so it is like this so unless we uh, do the meditation uh, we are not going to get the experience which are described in the books or by others so uh, when we deal uh, this way our eye problem will get solved so let's uh, look at the next chakra the crown chakra is also called uh, sahasrara chakra and its location is as we see it is above the head it is slightly above the head uh, its mantra is omkar and as we have been saying that these are seven chakras but when it comes to sahasrara it is a state rather than call it chakra it is a state it is pure consciousness at this chakra we become one with divinity we are not our self individual we get connected to the cosmic universe as ordinary human being we are at the uh, our uh, single earth dimension but when we are at uh, this chakra we have the learning with multi dimensional learning we are at universal oneness we are aware about our self the self knowledge the reality and here we are guided by the intuition what happens when this chakra is not in balance attachment or detachment happens we are too much attachment with the worldly things it can be anything our relations or it can be our setup our house or some personal things or our career it can be anything so we are too much obsessed with that that is that attachment which we cannot easily get rid of detachment now sometimes when the chakra is not in balance we feel detached with the whole world we don't feel connected to the world anywhere we remain in our own shell and also Uh, when chakra is not in balance there is a spiritual abuse so what is spiritual abuse there are two things the first thing is when we are in spiritual path and uh, we gain spiritual knowledge like uh, if our uh, third eye gets activated we get some powers and if we are if we go on using these powers um, for materialistic things or to exhibit it to others to uh, to exhibit our power or uh, or Uh, our uh, gain to somebody else to impress someone else this is called spiritual abuse because that power we are not using correctly and also spiritual abuses uh, nowadays what is going on that certain communities say uh, our religion is the best and there are so many things are happening on this uh, background so whenever we feel we talk ill about other religions and stress on our religion so all these things a uh, common the spiritual abuse so it is going to imbalance or when the chakra imbalance and the spiritual abuse they are related uh, so also when chakra is imbalanced our belief system gets very rigid that is we are not open to the new ideas we don't want to acquire new knowledge we we don't want to come out of our uh, set frame our setup we don't want to expand so uh, now we come to the glands and body parts associated with the crown chakra the pineal gland the cerebrum the brain stem spine and whole nervous system these are all related to the uh, crown chakra and the health issues related to crown chakra are constant sense of frustration we see people around so 
when somebody is constantly frustrated that even if something good is happening even if people attend the marriage but inside they are so frustrated we can make out sometimes that that constant frustration and also they don't feel joy in anything and they are this they have destructive feelings sometimes sometimes there are migraine headaches uh, sometimes there is depression seizures dyslexia uh, these are all associated with the uh, crown chakra so uh, we see about the formation of uh, this chakra in fetus this chakra starts the formation from the fourth week of the conception it completes by sixth month and meditation is the best way to make this chakra stronger for the baby so mother has to do the maximum meditation so how do we balance our chakra crown chakra we have to do intense meditation do swadhyaya swadhyaya the knowledge is the base for agya chakra for sahasrara so we have to improve our knowledge then sajjan sangatya experience also uh, increases our knowledge when we listen to others experiences and uh, do, when do we do spiritual science service that is also going to enhance our sahasrara and uh, treat everyone as gods so that is a state uh, that is that happens when we are at sahasrara state so we have to practice at our level as much as possible as we can so the masters these great masters like sri krishna shiva jesus they are already already at that stage so they treat everyone like gods everyone is equal to them not only human beings every being that is living on the earth and they guide humanity to the greatest extent and uh, these masters are enlightened so at this uh, sahasrara state we can see the aura behind uh, their chakra so whenever uh, we see uh, these masters uh, pictures many times that aura is shown now we'll see the health issue as a case study one health issue now we are taking up a migraine migraine is a headache sometimes uh, people cannot tolerate it and it comes as an attack so it is associated with the crown chakra so at spiritual tablets we work on migraine uh, with the concept who am i there's a book of raman maharshi who am i so all the aspects are described in that at who am i level we have to understand that we are not the physical body we are not just this mind we are something more than that so we have to keep introspecting ourselves and first we try we start with the chakras that uh, at swadishana chakra are we able to enjoy the small joys of life at manipura chakra are we able to maintain our uh, uh, relations social oneness are we justifying our relations uh, uh, towards the community and towards the family members and when it comes to heart chakra are we expanding our love towards everyone when it comes to throat chakra we have to introspect our body mind soul uh, level so as just now we i discussed uh, with the when we were discussing about throat chakra and um, agya chakra so at agya chakra we have to see our past present and future are we carrying anything from the past that is disturbing our present are we carrying any negative impressions and what is my present do i need to change anything am i on the right path and future the uh, for future here is we need to make plans we have the uh, yearly plan monthly plan uh, once in a month i will do 
Purnima meditation. Means that that plan is the future plan is for spiritual upliftment. Uh, because uh, we are not connecting here ourselves with the physical world. We are looking for who am I. So that is related to our spiritual I, the planning, the future. So if it is monthly plan, that means uh, uh, we decide to do the private the uh, monthly uh, Purnima Dhyan meditation. Or once a year, we go to Ashram Dharma, stay in the ashram for four or five days do the meditation there. So these are the plans which are going to enhance our spiritual eye. So this is how, and also, okay, uh, that's one thing. And crown chakra is uh, beyond uh, our who am I, beyond I. It is oneness with the God. Uh, and uh, other things we need to introspect are, uh, we need to ask ourselves, who am I? What is my place? Uh, in the society, what is my role in my house? What is the role uh, in my career? What are my strengths? What are my flaws? When I see in the mirror, do I see the image uh, I thought of as, uh, do I see myself uh, as I expect myself to be? So uh, these are all the different uh, introspective questions we go on asking uh, ourselves and one by one, one by one, we try to understand ourselves. So slowly, 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 we come out of that uh, connectivity uh, with only the physical body and mind. So when we are connected with the physical body and mind, the problems come up like migraine, headache and all these things. So, um, just a moment, Masters. So, we have seen uh, how we deal with the migraine. And uh, that was all about the crown chakra and sarasthara. So, I think we have completed uh, seven chakras now. And uh, here, I have given the, we have made the table the chakras and its location, uh, its endocrine system, the organs affected, deficiency or excess, what happens, and when it is formed in the fetus. Uh, and these are all the seven chakras. So all the information is put together here. And uh, if anybody is interested, we can uh, provide this, post this. So masters, thank you. I completed about the seven chakras. If anybody has any doubts, uh, please go ahead and uh, ask. I think, uh, I'm sorry, uh, now we have the meditation, after the meditation. Yeah, over to uh, Ashok, sir. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Anita. Uh, wonderful sessions. And uh, let us go through the meditation and let us talk about uh, uh, anyone has the questions, clarify and all of them. So, permission, sir, it's uh, to you, sir. You can play the music. Yes, sir. Yes, 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 sir. I'm doing that. One minute. Namaste, Masters. Let's get ready for the inner journey. Let us shift from our awareness from external world to the inner world of beauty. So, so far, last three days, we have been learning about the chakras, where it is located, what are the qualities, how to activate. So, who does seen? All chakras gets activated by meditation. The common factor is meditation. Go link there. And yesterday we talked about the seven colors. What is the rainbow colors in the sunlight? Same. We have violet, indigo, blue, sky, sky blue, then dark green, then Manipura yellow, Swadeshtana orange, Muladhara red. These are the colors 
which is there in the light same thing you know our chakras also there is no dispute all the masters ancient rishis they have seen this and today also who are meditating have seen this many ways some or other or all depends you can also get the experience but don't sit with the expectation but when you meditate using the color first imagine visualize visualize then you may get the benefits so tune into that that is one of the methods right so take few deep breaths <clears throat> and uh, one more point i would like to say the other day someone was asking about the mantras here also she mentioned each chakra has a mantra lam bam ram yam ham om but i am not going to use it for the simple reason these are not just a sound it has got its own sanctity mantras are these mantras are called bija mantras seed mantras with lot of potential so there is a process called initiation by enlightened masters one on one or sitting in front when the student is ready the disciple is ready then at the right time this is given as an initiation that is how the bija mantras are to be part and it is transmission it is not just giving the information the transmission should happen for that the recipient should be ready purity shaucha is very important bahya abhyantara shuchi so externally taking bath etc and where you are sitting mental purity all then only this can do wonders with potential is so much as a seed a seed can become a banyan tree right so that is why i am not going to use people may be using but i am not convinced it's not even bhagavad gita krishna says even spiritual knowledge what he says don't just like that give to anyone and everyone only those who are really keen really interested in receiving spiritual knowledge only you part otherwise they will miss you sir just like a blind man talking about elephant one part touching that person will say this is elephant like that suppose you say activate the muladhara only and give mantra then what happens your physical level energy will go out and it can be missed you you may become obsessed with sex for example so like that so please understand the mantras are to be used with the total faith sacred because it is sacred it is kept as secret also by books today everything is just talked about freely it's okay for knowledge but give the due respect for that that's all i want to say <coughs> see we have this seven chakra major we say there are the seven planes of existence within and without it is there om bhuhu om bhuha om swaha om mahaha om janaha om tapaha om satyam seven lokas same way below below the muladhara also there are seven atala vitala tala tala patala what you talk about below that so seven plus seven 14 lokas 14 planes of existence is the different vibration the physical level we cannot understand like a dog can hear the sounds more than us like that so many thing that frequency is different as so health trust first like the doctors you prescribe medicine you learn from the college from the professors and those who are tested on guinea pigs or rats and now you are giving to man with the trust So if this can be done and the patients just come and have trust in the doctor they just take and take it they don't even ask whether you are a qualified doctor they don't ask for the certificate so trust like that basic trust here also we should have in our spiritual masters rishis ancient munis have trust and practice and see as you go here there is nothing to lose with the total trust practice all spiritual practices should be like that open don't use your logical mind something beyond that is there. with that understanding sit for meditation and always use a specific place and sitting comfortable is theram sukham asana right take few deep breaths i gently close make yourself maximum comfortable so that no disturbance and 
one point i would like to say each chakra seen as a lotus by the masters by the rishis muladhara red color four dalas four petal the lotus red lotus then swadishtana is six petaled lotus orange color manipura ten petal lotus golden yellow color heart anahata twelve petal the lotus green color like lotus heart then go to vishuddhi 16 petals 16 petal blue lotus blue me then ajna chakra only two petal two petal lotus indigo color and what we call as sahasrara thousands of petals violet color crown chakra this is how it has been seen by many rishis and even today those who meditate could get the vision you and i can also get many would have experience even me i have experience so with that trust let's go for chakra meditation Now, take a deep breath once again and relax the whole body. Take another deep breath comfortably. As you exhale, feel that you are throwing out all the tension, stress. becoming lighter and lighter now bring your total awareness to muladhara root chakra just bring your attention
Okay, next is feel the empowering energy spreading from Muladhara Chakra to the entire system. Balancing your earth elements. You are a powerful soul now. Now, gently shift your awareness to above Swadhisthana Chakra. Feel the center breathing sensation six petaled orange lotus in the energy is spreading from Swahadis Khan It is purifying energy, balancing your water element, removing all the negative thoughts, all the impurities are going out, spreading the purifying energy and the system. Now, moving on to Manipura Chakra. Feel the body and sensation. Manipura Chakra. Yellow color. Ten petal lotus is blowing. It's amazing all the digestive system. But one thing, fire element in the fire. Within the whole system. Joy for the energy. Feel the pain. Now. Green color, twelve petal lotus. Next, I see your heart, lungs, hands, the whole of your system. Since 
simply move your awareness. So you should be accepted. Sixteen patterns move our purpose. Moving, studying, peace in the next. Balancing your element of space, ether. Your voice becomes never obvious. This high blue color than oxy. Feel the peace Thank you. 
Slowly move your awareness to the all important chakra, Sahasrara. Thousand petaled violet color lotus, the master chakra. Connecting to your source. Feel the wonderful cosmic energy showering. Like shower, the violet colored cosmic energy flowing throughout, encompassing your physical existence and beyond. Amrita Surabhi, the nectar flows from there. Now you are connected. Your existence, your true nature. Feel the blissful energy everywhere. Akanda mandala karam vyaptam enachara charam. You become one with the existence. There is no you and I. Sarvam Kalvidam Brahma become everything is just that Tat Tvam Asi that you are. Feel the oneness. Feel the wholeness. You are the center of this universe now. You are all encompassing, all pervasive. Oceanic, you are power, you are joy, you are love, you are peace 
as you are the light of the light. Just be. Friends, slowly, slowly become aware of your physical reality. Become aware of this sadhana, physical body. Your surroundings, feel them unattached. Asangoham, asangoham. Just be aware, witness. I am unattached. And bring your awareness to your own heart chakra. Feel the gratitude to the universe for connecting me. Gratitude to 
biological parents who brought me to this planet to complete my journey of life to all my teachers gurus who give me wisdom continue to give me wisdom all around siblings children friends colleagues all are helping me to evolve to complete purpose of my life on this planet i am grateful to everyone i am thankful to all that i have on this physical plane to enjoy to play in this garden thank you thank you thank you for this bhava attitude of gratitude carry throughout all the actions kaya vacha manasa to me take a deep breath to me one stretch your legs and hands if needed regaling and i will count one to five at the count of five you may open your eyes with a broad smile feeling refreshed rejuvenated re energized rejuvenated one two three slowly slowly start coming back friends four five you may open your eyes the broad smile feeling fine and in perfect health feeling better than before ready to take on the challenge of life blissfully thank you thank you masters loka samasta sukhino bhavantu thank you parmeshwar sir thank you for the wonderful meditation uh, let's go and masters take your time to come back to yourself and whoever has any clarifications that is been required or any questions okay yeah we got the master srini sir can you unmute yourself please yeah good morning sir uh, thank you anta ma'am uh, for the wonderful uh, uh, wisdom session on uh, chakra sir i have uh, two questions sir uh, subramanam sir you uh, we are aware of uh, there are 108 chakras 108 chakras uh, and only six or uh, seven important and uh, uh, there are other chakras what is the significance of other chakras number 1 and Number two, you said uh, you don't uh, uh, follow uh, seed mantra for each chakra. You explained, but I could not uh, follow that. Can you elaborate more on that? Yeah. Regarding the mantra, and this is called Bija mantras. So though many use just like that, I for one, I have received all this as initiation from gurus. So this should be received from the gurus. and giving due respect so we but, should be ready 
you are our guru sir we are receiving through you only no the preparation is needed atha yoga anushasanam this is what patanjali said now i will start now means you have to take you are ready to receive for that lot of preparation is required so for this the purity inner and outer all those are needed now we are not sitting in a satsanga physically so then you would have given instruction you have to take bath for example and you have to wear fresh dress not the dress which you are wearing in the bed all those will carry negative energy so it may have adverse impact and the mantras are sacred so it has to be given its schedule so all may not be so i am not telling all are not so all are not prepared for that so there's a process so it takes time so suddenly like that chanting mantra may not and this is again can be combined with gayatri that's what is seven planes om bohu it's all seven planes of existence so all those things are to be understood first properly then with the complete trust when we use the mantras bija mantras yes it can sprout and it can bloom that's why so that respect this is how the masters have taught so we have to follow that giving due respect number one okay number two what is the other one you are uh, the first the, question the, the other chakra ah yeah there are so many actually if you study pranic healing and all that there are so many chakras chakras are nothing but energy centers these seven are aligned along this spine actually though we say navel chakra it is along the spine connecting to the sushumna nadi which is in the middle along the spine spinal column and ida left side right side pingala so the ida pingala and sushumna are the three important nadis along the sushumna only these chakras are there so the ida and pingala cross touch near each chakra and that is why like a snake you know we are showing the kundalini shakti going so this when you breathe energy flows like that normally but sushumna nadi is not open for all always maybe a fraction of second sometimes you may get it but in meditation again whereas for a real yogi the sushumna it will be just flowing like fountain from below to muladhara to sahasrara it will be going so along this these are the important seven chakras and there are so many like transformers are there you know when start from the water from the river or whatever <laughs> then by the time it comes to the house how many connections are there like there so many chakras are there each organ most of the organs around that there is a minor chakra and 108 again masters have told very important chakras connecting from the heart the network 72000 nadis are there so that 72000 meridians they are connecting all those things so like that's a vast area so theoretically we may know so when you do pranayama so these channels gets open now so each chakra in pranic healing what we do is relevant to that organ also we are cleansing and charging like that in addition to this so this is in general now the seven uh, what you are told you know connecting to the seven uh, glands and nearby organs that's all so much more are there but there's a subtle needs a lot of <laughs> studies and there are many news right yeah. okay Thank you for anita madam anything to add from your side to masters uh, when it comes to the uh, health what i feel there are few points very important to follow in life to be free of diseases because we are always uh, afraid that what disease is going to come up in my body what time so and already already there could be some existing so first i will talk about prevention as uh, i already explained it is the energy disturbance that is going to ultimately result into the disease in the body because some body components fail to receive the amount of energy they are supposed to receive so as i have explained before that they are not able to function with their uh, optimum even if uh, we fall short of energy if we are sick or something we are not able to do all the work that we were 
doing before before falling sick so it's like you know when uh, energy is not supplied enough to that particular component of the organ or the body it falls sick so the body has to function every small or big function is important for it to be uh, working uh, at its uh, optimum uh, optimum level in homeostasis so when any small component is affected also it is going to create disturbance in the uh, physiological processes in the body even any one physiological process is not happening in the body it is going to lead to a disease so when it magnifies on a larger scale then that comes out as a bigger disease okay this is one thing so now we know how the disease uh, the disease is getting created because of the shortage of we the energy depletion now another thing so how do we keep our energy balanced all the time so our mind that plays a very important role here more than our physical body physically if we are uh, eating something and the body is affected and when uh, that effect is gone body comes back again it gets restored but mentally whatever we carry it goes on repeating within us we don't we don't just suppose we have eaten something and the, there is food poisoning uh, after it is digested and uh, you know give it some time and it's all cured but anything we carry in our mind we keep carrying it always the effect goes on multiplying it is not one time effect that is why the emotional effect is more multifold and that is the place where we have be, we have to be more careful than caring for the food aspect but what is happening these days we are everywhere i see uh, it's only the uh, bodily you know um, what are the uh, nutritious foods i can take uh, what are the uh, if i have diabetes uh, what seeds i can uh, so can take but where lies the exact uh, problem it is at the emotional level we are not able to take care of our stress we are not take care, uh, able to take care of uh, our uh, emotional imbalances related to our thought uh, our uh, relations or our uh, situations in daily life the lack feeling these are all exerting the pressure on us emotionally we are getting imbalanced and what happens we carry all these things in our head and we try to keep searching for the solutions again and again where even if the solution is not available still we go on about it so each time we go on each time the biochemical reaction is happening and the the toxic effect of it is getting accumulated in the body layer by layer layer by layer so that is what creates the illness in the body so what is the solution we should always be emotionally balanced many things keep happening in our, uh, around in our life how do what is our approach the first thing is if any unpleasant situation has happened face it first accept it if you have to take some action about it do take it but don't get involved into it don't look for the result result always leave it to the universe universe is the greatest software create the confidence have the confidence in the universe then only we are going to remain emotionally balanced otherwise just by saying that be positive or <coughs> let go it doesn't happen only when we have the faith in the universe when we accept things do our right do our duties and leave the result to the universe we are going to uh, maintain our normalcy at the thought level at the speech level uh, at the relations level so master i think if i keep talking no it will just go on uh, i think i have given enough input uh, i want to give chance to everyone thank you thank you ma'am your slide preparation is great thank you yeah thank you so much Masters, please come forward if you wanted to have any clarifications. So please try to.
raise your hand and get your clarifications clear. Yeah, Ashish sir, you, you can unmute yourself. Uh, once again, very beautiful meditation, beautiful wisdom sharing. Uh, so really happy. Uh, now, see one thing, you know, I'm a little embarrassed to ask this question because it sounds a little stupid, but uh, <laughs> uh, I just want to ask it. Uh, see, we we talked about a lot of things. Uh, we talked about non-violence and karma and all of that. Now, one thing that keeps uh, kind of coming to my mind, you know, at home, there are this, for example, there are mosquitoes that come at home or sometimes a lizard comes at home. You know, there are occasional times when there's a rat and, you know, when, uh, and these are, so when we have to handle these things, you know, uh, so when we spray those chemicals uh, on the mosquitoes, or we are taking those lives. So I, I don't know, this is a confusion, you know, in the mind, you know, what do we do? Do you really do that? Or you have to catch a rat and then the rat gets killed. So what, what needs to be done? I mean, I, it's not what needs to be done. I, I don't know if there is an answer, but uh, I get confused. You know, I wish that, you know, without any uh, harming, it will go, but sometimes it doesn't go. So that's the confusion in mind. Yeah, so Ashi, sir, uh, I understand. This is a problem all of us face. I too uh, always uh, used to think about these aspects that uh, there, there are ants and there is lizard. So how do, how can I hurt it? So uh, I used to think always the different options. Only when it is uh, really beyond, it is hampering my day-to-day uh, -day life or I'm just not able to do anything about it, then I take action about it. I do something about it so that they are not there. So uh, regarding lizards and all, I have realized one thing that physically you keep the mesh and as long as there are no cockroaches, no ants in the house, the lizards will not come because they don't get the food. They come only for the food. And regarding the ants, if uh, I, uh, there is uh, one uh, line uh, that chalk, chalk stick comes. Either you put the chalk stick and uh, keep your things, the ants will not come. And uh, second thing is you put uh, water in a vessel and keep your things in that, ants will not come. Use the airtight containers, ants will not come. And still, if the ants have come, put, the, put some sugar outside your house somewhere. So where they can find the food. They don't need to search for the food in the house then, if they are able to find it outside. And uh, regarding mosquitoes, uh, of course, uh, they are seasonal. And when they are there, we cannot work. Even if one mosquito is there, I cannot work. Mm -hmm. So I put the very high fan. And uh, after 5 o'clock, I close all my uh, doors and windows if they are any open. And uh, windows for the ventilation, I put the mesh so I can leave the uh, window open. So these are the alternatives we have to uh, look for. And as far as possible, we should not hurt because uh, there's a conscience within us. It is hurting us. But why? Why it is happening? Why the ants have to come and uh, live uh, in our house? Because their food was somewhere else. Earlier, everything was barren land. There were uh, and dead animals and uh, fruits fallen everywhere. A lot of trees were there. It was all natural. They had the natural habitat to live in. The fruits fallen or getting rotten. They were eating that. But now we have removed all that. We have taken away their place, their habitat. We have built uh, our houses. And now from where do, where do they live? What is the food they should eat? So naturally they'll come to our houses for it. So we should not deny it is their right. We have taken away that uh, their uh, right to live. So it is all coexistence. Every organism, every, every uh, insect, a small, uh, big, uh, every uh, plant kingdom, every animal kingdom, they have the right to survive, but we deprive them. We human beings have increased in the uh, number so much that we have occupied everything. We are dominating everything. We feel that we own this earth. 
we feel only we are the people who are right who have the rights uh, to take uh, all the benefits of the earth we don't even allow the other uh, other plant kingdom or even the animal kingdom or insects or anything like this to survive so i think i have spoken enough yeah, th <laughs> thank, you, yeah, thank, thank you. you thank you thank you thank you very much Thank yeah, you. Anita, madam, we have a question in the chat. When arthritis affects many parts of the body, which chakra you need to focus on? It, it is the Muladhara chakra, but uh, we don't go only with the chakras. We have to, um, we have to look into many aspects. Uh, how is our attitude? And uh, uh, as uh, we have discussed the uh, Panchakoshas, uh, where lies our mistake? Which layer the uh, we can trace uh, that particular uh, element to? That we need to analyze. So, uh, as uh, when it comes to the chakra, it is Muladhara chakra. Yeah, thank you, Anita, ma'am. And uh, Ramakrishna, sir, can you unmute yourself? Thank you. Namaste, Anita ji. Um, I guess you have read my mind before I ask the question. So you have already asked, asked, answered the part of my question already. So this is about um, uh, Ajna Chakra activation of, uh, to, to heal, uh, to do with the eye issues. Okay. Uh, that, I mean, I don't know if I'm using the right word to say Ajna Chakra activation or is it you meditate on Ajna Chakra or whatever. But basically because Ajna Chakra is connected to eyes, and how do we uh, work with, uh, how do I work with Agnya Chakra to get a benefit on eyes? Yeah, uh, sir, first of all, uh, we don't uh, work directly with uh, chakras. Okay? Any chakra directly, we cannot just focus on higher chakra because the lower chakras have to get cleansed first. If we are focusing only on the higher chakra, it creates an imbalance in the body. And uh, a second thing is, uh, Correcting the, correcting the chakra through our thoughts is in our hands. That uh, be in reality, uh, gather the correct knowledge, see only the right things. These are the things we, which we can uh, apply and uh, correct our uh, Agya Chakra energy. But at the same time, when it comes to the eyes, we have the uh, direct evidence. That is, as I explained, uh, during the class that many times what happens is uh, instead of experiencing something directly we go on depending more on uh, some other indirect knowledge whether we would have read it somewhere or would have we would have heard it from somewhere uh, it's like you know the rasagulla to eat the rasagulla and uh, taste it you are just listening from some somebody how what what is what is it like Sweet means what? How much as somebody describes, unless we taste that sweet, we will not understand. So uh, mostly when it comes to the spiritual life, when it comes to meditation, uh, it is the same. That uh, we keep listening to uh, masters, many masters, uh, that uh, they have got this experience and so many things, so many theories. But uh, even uh, when it comes to the Panchakoshas, uh, somebody had asked, uh, do the uh, layers really exist? So Bhruguruji did the meditation. And in the meditation, he went on uh, realizing the layers one by one, one by one. So when we do meditation, when we go ahead, progress in the meditation, we come across all these experiences. Now, but as long as we are not into it, we are always going to think on the logical plane. Uh, we, we, we got used to thinking, uh, looking at everything with the logical mind, with the scientific mind. Earlier, it was all not like that. Whatever uh, our uh, rishis used to tell, we used to uh, follow that without applying the logic. So we used to gain that uh, uh, experience directly. So when we remove our logical mind, scientific approach, uh, there is so much uh, that is open to us. We can reach that higher truth faster. Okay, uh, so I was telling about the eyes. So this is the same thing that uh, when uh, anything we want to be in any situation or uh, any times it is a day-to-day -day life, uh, it happens that uh, we 
somebody does the work and uh, we say that we have done it and uh, we we take the credit for it we are not into it we have not experienced that work so that also uh, is uh, one of the causes for the eye problems so be into the situation understand yourself don't go with somebody else's knowledge so i hope you got my point uh, ramkrishna sir okay on this experiences like you know uh, i keep listening to the experiences of different masters um, i don't know the the scale in terms of uh, you know the uh, mapping myself on this experience scale what i mean like, like if you take a child you have um, they call it growth matrix like you know the you, you get the teeth first uh, you get the tingling first then the teeth first then then that you you sit up then you know walk you know all the there are these are called growth matrix so in a spiritual path what are the growth metrics that i can expect uh, to feel i i i know i'm i'm kind of lost on that sir spiritual path is just surrender complete surrender because we don't know which level we are in we are a baby soul or we are little advanced soul what level we we, we as us we don't know but when we get into that action when some people start doing meditation they would not have done for so many years but when they start doing then immediately they start feeling so many experiences it's because from their past birth they are carrying on the impressions so every person is uh, at his own level and spirituality is a thing where uh, we have not reached uh, though we uh, we have explored it little though we have understood it little but it is a very vast subject it is uh, even even the masters uh, who have attained a great status in this they also have not completely got it so it's a very vast there are so many diversities in it there are so many things existing so uh, where we are getting tuned to we don't know so we just have to surrender to the universe uh, some people when they sit in the meditation they see light uh, they hear some sound uh, some other people they see some vision so for everybody it is different we cannot compare there is no map like or there is no chart any any chart it is only when it comes to spirituality we have to uh, read the books and go on uh, enhancing our knowledge and uh, see where what is the thing that we can apply in our daily life where can i correct myself that is one thing we have to always uh, keep track on and second thing meditation is the practical experience so be into it so doors will get opened automatically one by one one by one absolutely no expectations it just happens okay. when expectations come then we are running after the expectations we are measuring every day where i stand where i stand so no so i tell you okay. my personal experience so when i was uh, doing meditation i had reached to certain stage i experienced something uh, that time my age was little i was younger i didn't know what what meditation exactly is where it leads to what are the stages but then when i reached certain level i felt so excited myself that oh i achieved something you know that uh, feeling of achievement and then uh, what happened is i my mind is uh, getting related getting stuck to the result and that's all from then on i was i could never achieve that state again though i tried i couldn't reach that this maybe uh, there could be different reasons but it is like that so don't attach uh, to the result don't get uh, carried away or uh, distracted with the result just go on go on walking go on go uh, ahead on the spiritual path okay yeah good, good good advice thank you thank you so much sir thank you pranam ah uh, yes sir uh, i have a small doubt uh, regarding the uh, uh, solar plexus uh actually we are uh, so much uh, so much blessed with your uh, this wonderful wisdom for sharing this wonderful wisdom of uh, chakras thank you much thank you ma uh, and uh, regarding this uh, solar plexus uh, somebody is telling that it is near the navel uh, chakra that is a hara center uh, but in our picture it was uh, just below the heart chakra and above the navel center 
प्लीज क्लैरिफाई मा थैंक यू मा थैंक यू मच सर यू टॉकिंग अबाउट या सोलर प्लक्सेस सोलर प्लक्सेस हाँ या सोलर प्लक्सेस इस इन द नियर द एब्डोमेन इन द स्टमक केरिया सो वी डोंट लीड टू नो एक्सेक्ट लोकेशन yeah it is oh. it is just yeah it is around the navel we don't need to know exact location as we keep doing the meditation we start feeling it oh. and we just we just have to imagine that's all we just have to feel that that chakra is there that much is enough we don't have to know correct location of it okay. permission sir uh, am i right uh, as you rightly said there is no right or wrong <laughs> See, uh, yeah. that's what I said in the beginning. Along the Sushumna Nadi are the chakras. So, just for identification purpose, physical level, we are telling navel. And many masters say navel chakra is called Manipura chakra also. So, slight it is there, but just understand it is along the spine, spinal column, and it is in subtle body, not in the physical body. Exactly. so you don't have to worry much just to have an idea say when you say stomach again we say what is the difference between stomach and abdomen how many of you have thought of it stomach is on the left side or little upper right but when you say abdomen it is a overall area the digestive system <coughs> that is here we call the around the navel and below the right abdomen lower abdomen upper abdomen like that say even when you breathe abdominal breathing you say the diaphragm is just about the navel like that so physical level don't worry approx that's all you may get the sensations when you practice so you don't have to worry as she rightly said about the specific location approx that's all so everything is a feeling <laughs> That's all. So that's why, particularly Western, they use as plexus. Plexus means connected with physical body, but actually it is along the prana maya kosha. That's why Sushumna Nadi is the main aspect, and Sushumna Nadi is along the spine. Okay. And thank you, Krishna Das sir, for opening up. Uh, he has joined <laughs> this you, group through some some contact with me, and I'm really glad every day he's attending <laughs> and uh, he you. has uh, opened up. Thank you very much. Thank so, you, sir. sir. I would like to add just one point. Yes, sir. Please. We are all considering that the chakras are physical. They are not. they are energy vortexes or energy centers alone please do not confuse yourself even when we say these five are along the spinal cord they are all centers they are not physical the moment you go into that physical part you will not find anything there. so please get away from the confusion because i have seen three or four questions are relating to the chakras chakras are just energy concentration centers so if i am wrong please correct me sir parmeshwar sir uh, that's all you are right perfectly that's what i said so you can feel only all <laughs> these things as you go exactly <laughs> that's all <laughs> everything is a feeling say how do you say heartbeat <laughs> and if you are in meditation you can listen to the heartbeat yes. normally we are not because we are always chattering chattering mind doesn't allow us to listen so even that is not heard how do you expect other things to be known so unless you are in deeper silence that is why so everything is experience and you may get uh, as i said pulsating you know some areas of the body that means some chakra some area energy is flowing everything is energy that's all right. and so people say this somebody was asking you know third eye activation and some uh, shortcut method and all that is done never ever go for that it is not right it, it is and, not there actually it is non existent yeah. you have Just money please give it to us Yes. You have money to spend on such things. Please give it to Chandra Mudal. Yes. Those who yeah. want to throw money, yes. Yeah, let, uh, <laughs> yeah, let go for the other question. Uh, Krishna, get yeah. this, sir. Can you please unmute yourself and can you ask your question? Uh, sure. Thank you. I would like to know how do you identify one's chakra? Basic question. 
Chandra Modali, sir, can again have answer. <laughs> so, sir, I have just answered the same thing. <laughs> no, no, no. What is my chakra? How do I know? Sir, so that's uh, an answer oh, that... for probably a one month uh, lecture. It is not an answer for uh, this one. You cannot physically locate that way. Yes, it is true that every human being has one main chakra among these seven and all the others are assisting chakras. So it's a detailed, very complex subject. Maybe a 42 days session might be required for it. Sir, please correct my minimal knowledge. No, no. <laughs> That's true. That's what I also said. I yeah. <laughs> totally agree. Because chakras are very, very complex, just like the soul. See, that is why they say a human being is a very complex animal. Yes. <laughs> it is. So based on the yeah, based Sir? on the uh, yeah. based on individual uh personality or behavior people say you probably belongs to this chakra and I was just wondering you know, if there is any identification so, mark say the characteristics we spoke about yes so if you want right. a thumb rule what you can apply is see there are certain characteristic points that uh, uh, Anita mentioned along each chakra. If you see a dominance of those characteristics, right? right. The dominance right. of those characteristics in your life, then you can assume that that is the chakra. But again, right. please also remember, a chakra could be in balance or out of balance. Right. So right. It, that, that is why the complexity of the matter comes into uh, surface. See, right. given a moment, see, during the stage that you are, let us say, starting to earn money, right, you will predominantly be functioning in the which phase? The phase of survival. Right. Now, let Mula us say, you, you right, uh, Muladhara, um, uh, uh, what do you call uh, Swadhisthana and Manipuraka. All three are belonging to the physical part of the evolution. Now, the lower, the, yeah, the, lower, lower chakras. the lower chakras. Three chakras. See, all chakras again are not independent. If one chakra is misbehaving, the impact will be felt in all the chakras. And someone was asking about if I have got this problem, which chakra do I work on? That is at a very high level, but you have to work on all the chakras. The balancing has to be established along all the chakras for any disease also to be managed. But more focus goes to that particular area where you have got the uh, given problem from the anatomical perspective. Sir, is that also correct? Yeah, in a way, major, see, unless your physical level three chakras are active going Correct. above is not easy not number possible one. is not possible yes yes, yes. number two is uh, always see the, again if you meditate only your higher chakra satya sahasra will get open so meditation like lifestyle changes are needed then only the energy will spiritual energy will flow so that is also needed so you cannot say this is good but by meditating you can get a feel and see that your higher chakras are opening up. That is a feeling you can get. Then you can work on the specific chakra also separately. So yeah. More extra, that is like extra. You know, <laughs> antibiotics are given if needed only. Otherwise, symptomatic, you are some other uh, tablets are given by doctor. <laughs> like that yeah. you can do on specific chakra. Say muladhara, for example, we say survival for orthopedician. That's what I said, invisible doctors. Muladhara is orthopedician. <laughs> uh, Swadhisthana is gynecologist. Uh, your uh, Manipura is uh, endocrinologist. <laughs> then heart That's chakra so is uh, cardiologist. And the, your throat chakra is ENT, Ajna chakra is eye surgeon, 
and above is psychiatry psychologist in a way but always they refer to other they will say only that part right it is something like that only so combination works the whole we have to see the wholeness so connect to the higher then go to the lower okay uh, if anyone is interested there is a wonderful encyclopedia on chakras written by cindy dale we can go through that that gives you an opportunity of reading a book which is about 1380 pages right chakras is that complex that encyclopedia even if you have read it uh, 10 times the 11th time you have to refer if you are answering a question so it's a book by cindy dale Indeed, got C Y N D Y. Spelling is C, not C I N D Y. The other way, C Y N D I. Yeah, that's the name. Wamsi has put it here. Thank you. Thank so you so much. Even before, uh, yeah, I just wanted to add a very simple thing for our life to be much easier. <laughs> yeah, these chakras and uh, panchakoshas and uh, everything is uh, so complex to understand for the beginners. I just wanted to give a small solution. So every day we go around three things: so gossiping, <coughs> criticizing, complaints. just work on these three before we understanding about all these complex concepts to absorb digest and apply to your life and and go through it and prior to doing that just watch yourself every single day these are all the very simple things that you can identify just in a click of a second how much gossiping you are doing are we are we actually looking at those things with our naked eyes no we are just propagating that one from one to the other by reading from social media or by listening from somebody else did you see that no then why we are propagating that and how much is that is been causing and that is actually going to cause some relationship effects so many things just watch these three things and how much you are going to get better and we live in that we live in that in every minute every moment criticizing complaining and gossiping just watch so if this is not correct then we can we can talk about this in the in the in the, in the next future classes just watch and see that what you can do before we actually absorb all these whatever we are talking about in these all these classes about these complex complex concepts so we just need to clean cleanse ourselves of what we are doing in our daily life and that is in our hands okay i just wanted to give you that and uh, on how much i have been benefited by looking into myself either right in front of the mirror or by just introspecting myself so that is what i have figured out so i just wanted to give my sharing and my experience that what i have been going through and what i am trying to learn and i just wanted to just get you through that thank you very much and before we close anita madam do you have anything that you wanted to add before we close the class uh, for the chakras and panchakoshas and uh, any of the other closing comments from you as a teacher that we have taught yes. uh, so beautifully about the koshas and uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, uh, chakras with the examples and there is so much of an uh, uh, detailed analysis and a detailed information that you have been provided and masters we are going to promise that we are going to get you maybe in the next one or two days all of the material which is going to be available so we are very close to publish all the material that what we have been created from the last four weeks so which is going to come to you so very soon so just wait but 
every day within a few hours i am posting all the uh, uh, recordings into the youtube channel if anybody is missing or if you wanted to provide it or give it to any of your near and dear please you can provide so back to anita madam so your closing comments and all uh, yes sir you know uh, i am so impressed by just now whatever you said actually that is the basis for everything rather than looking into every chakra and trying to uh, clear every chakra just basic things if we follow no judgment and uh, watch our every thought our action are we doing the right thing are we speaking to the truth sticking to the truth uh, are we creating any imbalance anywhere around uh, within ourselves or uh, in the society so uh, that's all that only is going to clear uh, so much of uh, negative energy from all the layers we don't have to put special efforts once we do this cleansing then we can go ahead with the higher concepts thank you sir thank you so much for that contribution yeah thank you very much anita madam and uh, beautiful beautiful classes and beautiful wisdom sharing and everything and uh, uh, anyone wants to uh, share anything before we just close and uh, today is the uh, anita madam uh, classes have been over for this day uh, from for this week and tomorrow we are going to have a beautiful master she is very ang and she is going to take us through what is spirituality means and it does not have an age to it whether it is an a, a, a 3 years old baby or an 8 years old uh, uh, kid or a 15 year old uh, year old teenager or a 30 a 30 years old middle aged person or uh, whatever the ages that are it doesn't matter so she is going to bring uh, a beautiful uh, wisdom to us so let's wait for that tomorrow and uh, she is actually another than sohana and uh, we will wait for that class thank you very much anita ma'am with that said i am going to close this and mother sir yeah we can unmute yourself and you can ask the question to anita ma'am uh, namaste anita ma'am thank you for the wonderful session uh, four days have been really beautiful with the wisdom sharings and so much clarity and uh, <clears throat> each time you listen to chakras you understand them a, a little more every time you listen a little more clarity a little more it, uh, it doesn't happen at one time so i understand we need to give time to absorb the knowledge of each chakra uh, and then for me from my experience whatever is bothering us it acts on one chakra or the other or combination of it in in a day if something is bothering us so it's not that only one chakra is dominant or one chakra is not throughout the day we have to correct uh, you know concentrate on the food on the speech that we are how we are using our uh, <clears throat> speech and the thoughts once we are correcting all three of them slowly everything gets aligned that is my understanding and thank you thank you for the wonderful wisdom session thank you madhu ma'am yeah you yeah, understood it so well thank you so much thank you madhu madam and vindya ma'am thank you thank you ashok sir for giving and thank you for your honest uh, uh, i love the way you ended yes we all need to understand our basic self before we can understand all these complex uh, topics anita ma'am thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart how beautifully and patiently you explained and answered each and every question so chandra sir added and parmeshwar sir beautiful all of you have so much of wisdom i appreciate just to end on the lighter note uh i have experience of one chakra chakra my husband is chakra so for me one chakra is enough very complicated for me and uh, if i understand him i think i'll solve a lot of my mysteries so thank you thank you in the ma'am thank you <laughs> yeah lakshmi ma'am yeah a uh, beautiful session uh, anita ma'am and parmeshwar sir and chandra sir and the real take what ashok sir given because a mind is so so much evolved only when we start looking at it 
so many questions wonderful questions every person goes through but uh, there are few souls who have that you know inquisitive or curiosity to know more about it and very beautifully analyzed answered by all the masters i just uh, want to say few words what each one of us has to really you know go back and uh, understand about ourselves is i just put it in few words like uh, i want to read that for you child in me today says it's a child in me because everywhere every time we have to look for a child within ourselves to understand and build up bigger understanding child in me today says when the situation in life rip your heart when scares and rewounded and the scars are rewounded sorry when people's words kill life within you then this happens words gush out like a ocean hoping each word to be a mightier than the sword but child in me today says mom do not doubt i'm big or grown up in height and weight but somehow i have been hunting for the warmth of your lap so hold me tight cuddle me like a baby make me sleep in your lap yeah child within me says this today so i think so one has to always go back to the child within yourself to engulf any knowledge there is no doubt there is no question just a surrender and happy in every you know situation to only experience it only experiences very beautiful session anita ma'am and the entire master team thank you for this beautiful thank you thank you lakshmi and thank you very much and uh, as parameshwar sir and chandra sir said yeah with that we will close for today and uh, people one more time don't, don't think about chakras are physical okay that's the one thing and the second thing that always gk sir sir always loves it spiritual tablets and everybody thinks about the tablets are also physical no they are all wisdom capsules so the same way that when we are correlating to chakras chakras are not physical they don't exist within the body but as everybody mentioned and said you just need to feel it and how you are going to feel it then you are going to thought about it and you are when you are going through the journey of meditation definitely you feel that so make sure that you practice and practice and practice okay thank you with that said we are going to close the session for today and thank you anita ma'am and thank you pochindra mudali sir and parameshwaran sir and uh, ravali madam she is not here today but uh, lakshmi madam and everyone who has been uh, contributing uh, uh, all the time and uh, thank you all the masters and uh, have a good day and have a good night and see you all tomorrow at the same time for a beautiful wisdom journey class by sohana thank you thank you all thank you anita ji have a good night